All right, so in this video, I am making a boombox tool. In my example, I make it so it only works with a game pass, but you can make it um, just everyone has one. That's um, even more simple. So um, basically how this works, you click uh, while you have the boombox and it brings up this UI. Uh, you can paste in your own ID and this will play the Roblox oof sound. <coughs> Got a little cut off there, that's interesting. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy this video, and this helps you, and let's get started. So to get started, I have this screen GUI right here. I'll show you that. It looks like that. Um, sort of a quick thing I just did um, to have a um, an ID input area. And then in here, we have our, we have a tool, uh, we have a boombox tool in a folder in replicated storage so we can basically clone this if someone owns the game pass now if you want to just do it so they have it all the time just put it in starter pack and get rid of the parts where i look to see if the player has a game pass so yeah um so let's get started with this uh so first of all we're going to do um we're going to i, I just did this a second ago and i'm re-recording it which is great um it was too long so i'm just gonna start from the beginning uh so i'm gonna call this give boombox script uh, so yeah so we have this um script in service script service and basically what we're gonna do is check whenever a character is added um to see if uh they need to be given a boombox or not so I'm going to say services, and then here I'm going to define marketplace service. Marketplace service equals game get get service marketplace service. Say so local players equals game get service players. Just like that. Say so other down here in case we know anything. I will say players dot player added colon connect function player. And then we'll say player dot character added on connect function character just like that. So basically, this will run every time a character, a new character, is added to the game. So we will say um, local owns um, boombox game pass game pass equals marketplace service get user get user no, what is it called? It's at the bottom, I think. User ends game pass async. Yeah. And then you put in the player, the player's user ID, and then our game pass ID. So in my example, um, let me actually just open this back up. All right, here's my game boombox tool. Um, so yeah, we have this right here, uh, and we have this boombox game pass in here. Um just to tell you um one robux game passes give you nothing so don't do that in your own games um i don't know why you'd even have a number that low in the first place that's like pretty small but um we're gonna get the game pass id from this game pass so i'm just gonna copy this and paste it into here so basically, it, um, this will return true if they own the Game Pass, and false if they don't. So I'll say, if owns Boombox Game Pass is equal to true, then we basically want to give them a Boombox. So I'll say, local Boombox clone equals, um, I'll just put replicated storage, local replicated storage equals game, game get service replicated storage, just like that, and then we will say local game pass tools folder equals replicated storage storage wait for child, and then we will say game pass tools, and that's where we put the tool. So I'll say local boombox clone equals game pass tools folder um, find first child. I'm just going to do find first child to be safe. And then I will say boombox like that because that's what it's named. And then we will say um, colon clone. 
and that will basically create a new copy of it. So then we'll say boombox clone dot um, parent equals um, player player dot backpack. Now, if we join the game right now, you'll see I will have this boombox, and I'll show you. Um, yeah, so this is good. Also, I forgot to say in the beginning, I just have this model, and um, the reason I'm just using a model and not just, um, I took the scripts out. The reason I'm doing that is to show you how you can create your own so you know you can do whatever you want with it. I mean, you can edit the scripts in there, but it's a lot more difficult, and it's not your style, you know? So yeah. Um, so what I'm actually going to do right now is do delete from inventory. So I'm removing this game pass from my list of purchased game passes and you will see when i rejoin the game i will not get the boom box see right there there's nothing so i'm actually going to buy this again right now it's one robux so it's not that bad <laughs> um you could make a new game pass if you wanted to do that without spending money by the way uh so yeah let's get into the actual um boom box side of it so first of all we're going to create a local script in here and we're going to call this boombox um, client. And then we will have some services and other like normal. It's just a great format I like to use. I don't know. It seems simple to me. All right. So then we will define, um, we'll, we'll define the tool. So I'll say local tool equals script.parent. And we'll say tool.activated colon connect function. Um, and then we will say, then we basically need to get the player's player GUI. So I'll say local player equals game.players.local player. Um, yeah, and then I'll say local um, boombox UI equals player, player wait for a child, um, player GUI. Um, and then wait for child boombox UI. And you have to make sure this is spelled correctly um, or it won't work, obviously. So then when this is activated, we'll say boombox UI dot music selection frame. And that's what I've named to the frame that I showed you in the beginning. Dot visible equals boombox UI dot music selection frame dot visible equals not sorry not not what it currently is so now if we play the game i'll just show you that this works it's a pretty simple thing it just makes it activated or deactivated so i do that i click and boom i have this pop up if i click again it's gone boom all good i guess so yeah um not a d there <laughs> um so yeah now we have to do a remote event uh, when the player enters an ID. So first of all, I'm going to say boombox UI. So um, remember, you have to have a text box and a text button in your frame for this to work because we need some code entry area and some way to submit it. So I'll say boombox UI dot um, music dot music selection frame dot submit button dot mouse button one click colon connect function and then we will say local text entered entered equals boombox ui dot music selection frame dot id box and that's why i call my text box dot text so then we will say uh, we'll basically do a quick check to make sure they're not, uh, we're not adding RBX asset ID if they already included that for some reason. Normally people won't because, you know, it's nowhere in the URL really. But I'll say if string.find text entered uh, RBX asset ID colon slash slash, then we will say, uh, well, I'll say local final string local final string and we'll say final string equals text entered current state if it already has rbx asset id else we are going to say final string equals 
uh, rbx asset id colon slash slash dot dot and then we'll concatenate with the text they entered so now um, we have the final string now what we're going to do is have a remote event so it goes on to the server so um everyone will hear it pretty much so let me just grab remote event like that so we have our server script and we have a remote event i'll call this music to server event and then i'll call this boombox server like that now we want to say uh, services and by the way you can just have these variables all in one place I just as i said I, I like to do it this way so then we'll basically do the remote event so i will say um local music to server event equals tool find first child um and then we will say well i'll say wait for child wait for child music to server event and i'm actually going to say the same thing on the server over here i have to define the tool as well because i said tool in there I can't just say tool and then not and do it all right there we go so then we will say music to server event colon fire server and then we will give the final string now what we're going to do is say um music to server event dot on server event colon connect function and then we have the player automatically and the um i um music link i guess you could call it music link like that so we will say we're basically going to create a sound in the boombox now so i'll say local new sound equals instance dot new sound we'll say new sound not new proxy no idea what that is not number sequence new sound dot sound id equals um music link I will say new sound dot. Oh yeah, and I forgot we we're going to delete it if it already exists. So we're going to say new sound dot name equals music, and then up here we will say if um, if player if player uh, find first child. Uh, no, if player dot. Wait, how did I? Do? Oh yeah, tool right there. Duh. So if tool find first child, um, and we'll say um, music. So basically, if a music already exists, then we'll say tool dot music colon destroy like that. So then we'll say um, after this, uh, we'll say new sound dot parent equals tool, and that. Um, then I'll say at the end here, new sound dot ended colon connect function. And then we'll say new sound colon destroy. So basically when the sound, when the song or whatever they're playing is over, it will um, delete itself. So this should be all you need for a boombox. So let me press one, open this, and then I'll paste in, uh, let me just go back to that page that I was on right here. So I'll play the Roblox Oof sound. Uh, I'll just paste that in there. Um, did it, oh yeah, I forgot to say playing, duh. So I'll say after it's added, I'll say, well, maybe before would be better, new sound dot playing equals true. And last time I turned up the volume, uh, you might want to not want to do this because, you know, some audio can be loud already, but just adjust it, adjust it how you want. So now if we join the game, it should actually play the sound when it, when it plays. So I'm going to go into my character and you can see the boom box here. I'm going to paste this in. <coughs> You'll see the sound added. It actually doesn't have more than one. It might um, do a little bit of um, overlapping just because it doesn't delete in time. This normally won't happen for longer audios. This is just a really short audio, a bad example. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it.
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing to help with the future and turn on post notifications to know when I upload. And thanks and goodbye.